I'm Matis Wackernagel with Global Footprint Network. And on the 21st of August, we will mark the 2010 Overshoot Day. That's the day by which between January 1st and August 10, we've used as many ecological services as the planet is able to regenerate in the entire year. We are recalculating all the country's footprints every year, both with new data and by improving the methodology. Our method tries not to exaggerate overshoot. So whenever we don't know fully, it underestimates how big humanity's overshoot is. Uh, people start to recognize that the CO2 concentration in the atmosphere is increasing because of human uh, CO2 emissions. Uh, fisheries are under increased stress. Um, we have freshwater scarcity in many places of the world. So that's uh, more crowding in cities, etc. So um, these are kind of the ecological symptoms. The way it plays out economically is first in the more vulnerable parts of the global economy. Uh, I mean, places where when resources get really scarce, what you then see is a rapid increase potentially of food prices, as we have seen a few years back, which is linked also to higher energy prices. And so people on the margin are hit much more by these phenomena. Countries like Haiti, uh, they were in a very fragile situation even before the earthquake, and then they got hit in addition with that, with another natural calamity. And it's incredibly difficult for such, such situations where you have uh, no resources left and are economically devastated to, to move out of that situation again. It's possible, I think, I mean, we would have to change the priorities of how we invest and what we, what we value. Um, I mean, unless we, 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 make, we make it a priority to turn around the trends, uh, it will be very hard for each country to uh, to, to Im improve the situation. I, actually, what surprises me most is that countries haven't fully understood their self-interest yet. If you don't adapt your economies for the resource scarcities that are looming on the horizon, then you just w won't be ready. So you don't need to have an international agreement to get your own country ready, I believe. I mean, we would even say, wait for global consensus and waste your future. If you truly just look at the resource trends at the situation of your own country, uh, you start to realize that much more aggressive resource uh, reduction targets will be in your self-interest as a country than Cancun or any further climate debate would ever come up with, I believe.